you know I pride myself on reusing things or making something that we don't think about into something special. Take a rusty old gate and turn it into a piece of art, maybe a palette and turn it into something that's absolutely beautiful. But what about something that's completely everywhere, all around us? Well, in fact, underneath us. What about the earth and turning it into some beautiful furniture? So I'm going to put in a rammed earth bench seat right across here. Now, this is a much loved space. It's a mate of mine's house and I've actually sat here and enjoyed a fire myself. But it doesn't take a genius to see that there are a heap of fire hazards here and the whole area is a bit of a mess. But the truth is, there's not much here except for the hard floor that's worth saving. What was he thinking? Now, if you're making anything out of rammed earth, you need formwork because you've got to ram it and it's got to stay in position. So my bench, I need to screw all these together. Now, when you're ramming, it's going to want to bend. So around the outside, I've got some 70 by 35 that I'm going to form up around it. But the good thing about this is when you're finished with it, you can unscrew the whole thing and you can use it for another project. Try and wobble that now. Now, can you just do me a favour? Lie in it. I just want to see if it's right as a day bed as well. Oh, okay. No. Close your eyes. He's alive! Quick, get the lid! Well, that's the carpentry. Now let's go and talk dirt. Now, the earth I'm using is store-bought or yard-bought crushed granite. I've got three colours. The brown, pink they call that, but I'm saying red and gold. I'm going to mix them up on the boards rather than in the barrel and having to wash it out each time. Now, as far as the mix goes, 10 parts of this and one shovel of the cement. And always mix the dry ingredients first. If you add the water before you mix it together, you're going to end up with lumps of cement. Now, what texture do I want? I want it damp but not wet. So by damp, I mean when I pick it up, I can ball it up and it'll stay in a ball. If it was super dry, it'd just fall apart. But not wet like something you'd lay a brick on. Now from here on, the process is the name, rammed earth. So at the moment, we've got earth and we need to ram it. Now, I should copyright this tool. It's called Off Cuts of Ply and Timber. But because it's got a square pad on the bottom, I put three of them together to get a bit of oomph behind it. Best thing about it compared to using a sledgehammer or something else is that it's square, so you can get right up to the edge and you can do all the corners. I'm just going to go for like a layered effect, a little bit like lasagna from the side. About four or five good whacks in the one spot and you should be right, but you can actually hear it. If I grab the mic, come down here, hold that there. Sounds like it's pushing the air out. And then all of a sudden, it sounds more like a smack, like you're hitting a solid wall. Oh, you can go now. Now, it's taken Hayden as long to mix that one as it has me to whack this one. So you're probably looking at about five to 10 minutes per layer of whacking. Now, mate, I've got some good news for you and I've got some bad news for you. That. The good news is I trust you to do the next layer and all the layers after that, and I'm going to go off and finish the top. Now, to contrast the rammed earth, I'm going to finish it off with a nice little seat in spotted gum. This looks fancy, but the construction's actually pretty simple. I'm just working from the underside so I can hide all the screws. I've got four buttons. That'll keep it nice and flat. I'm framing it up and it will slide over the rammed earth box. I've just made it about five mil bigger at the end and on the sides. Bench top's done. Now for the moment of truth. The reality is you need to leave this for a few days. I'd say four or five at a minimum, but we've had pretty cool weather and I've left it for seven. And remember, we screwed the whole thing together so you can unscrew it and reuse it. The moment of truth. Winning! Oh, that looks fantastic. 
And just with an old towel, I'm using it kind of like sandpaper, going off and just softening the edges. And you can see here where a bit of moisture has run. Over time, they'll disappear. Now, if you've mastered the basics of being able to build this, there's no reason why you can't go and build a whole house. But I think this finishes it off beautifully. But now I reckon the surrounding area needs some love. And by that, I mean plants with colour. So these quarter lines, which look like they're bright pink and dark burgundies, will really stand out in front of the green. A few more strappy leaf plants will really fill this space out and make it more intimate. Perfect for putting your feet up by the fire. So with a little bit of time and effort, you can turn a space that was much loved but quite dangerous and not that pretty to look at into something that's a real feature. The fire's on, so there's no reason you couldn't be out here on your own or with the whole gang. What's that then? You want hot dogs for dinner? <laughs> <laughs>